Mm. This one, it, it, it caught the attention of a lot of people. I, I spoke about it. And I did say there's a problem with this, but I did not get into details about the the local, the coming back of Usuzugod. It's a problem. A big one. A big one. A big one. And a lot of people don't see it coming. Did you see that Ramaphosa has just realized that this second term, the chances of me surviving are very slim. The chances of me surviving being charged are this slim. Remember, they are the ones who came up with the policy. You get charged, you step aside. That's how they dealt with Ace Mahashud. That's how I'm just gonna name you. That's how they dealt with Abo. That's how that's how they dealt with Abo Zandile Komet and KZN. And it was a, she was a mayor. And she was removed in that way. Why? You get you get charged, you step aside. That was designed, that was a special operation, a special approach. If you remember the history behind that, it was designed by Ramaphosa to eliminate all of his enemies, all those who opposed him. Uh, all that needed it what was for you to get charged and you step aside. But listen, we suddenly see a, 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 a complete 220 U10 from that. It should worry you. You should be worried as to why. Why are people making a 220 U10 from something basic, simple, and fundamental like that? They've come up with the police. You, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. It's a very problem. Ramaphosa is about to be charged, and he knows this. Remember the previous video where I spoke about his new scandal, right? He knows that, you know what, they're going to get me. The only way for me to continue in power is that if we suddenly turn our back from our very own policy that you get charged, you step aside. But then we, it can't start by me because I will look autocratic. So I will look like uh, I'm ruling with a rod of iron. So no, 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 no. Let it start with other comrades. So that when when I of officially get charged, then I will not step aside. Why? Because we will be like, but no, man, Zizigoto. Zizigoto has been brought not necessarily has been brought back. Look, it's not that Zizigoto will benefit from this. Uh, yes, she, she she stands, she's benefiting from this change of approach, hypocritical change of approach. But the person who stands to benefit even bigger is the man who, who look, who's been uh, eliminating enemies using that policy. But, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna eliminate you in this video, in this YouTube video. This is what I'm going to say instead. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe it is free. To like the video it is free. To comment in the comment section below it is free of charge. To click the notification bell it is free of charge. To share this video it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people. I mean, come on to watch the ads. It's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed Zizekoto is asked I don't know if you have noticed he couldn't even answer he could not answer a simple basic yet fundamental question why are you back because there is a step aside policy Aren't you supposed to step aside? I remember somebody posted this video and captioned it. He just said, I'm arrived. So what? And I feel the same. I feel like he just said, I'm arrived. So what? What are you going to do about it? But I can tell you this. The ANC has just shown a meekly finger to its members.
The ANC has just shown, it started to show, started to take decisions that a lot of people will begin to say that, no man, there's something off with this leadership, especially on the second term. The leadership is starting to show us that, you know what, we don't care about you. They don't care about the voters. They don't care about the members of the ANC themselves. They are willing to go as deep as they can, as far as they can to protect themselves. And they will do exactly that. Take a look at what Uzi Zogotwa being asked said here. <laughs> You're live on Newsroom Africa. You're being sworn in as an MP even though you had taken the decision to resign and step aside. Don't you think that this undermines whatever um, you know credibility that your organization is trying to imbue, especially in society? Well, I'm here because I'm on the list of the ANC. The list has been certified. I was supposed to have been here last week, but because of other matters. But as for the issues you are raising, I think the organization can explain. Uh, I'm not here to speak on behalf of the organization. I can't speak on behalf of caucus. I'm here as a member, as instructed in terms of being number 25 on the list of the ANC to come and appear, to come and sworn in. So I'm here as a disciplined member because I've been expected to come and be sworn in. And that's why I'm here today. All right, Zizi Gota, the former, <laughs> the former sports, arts and culture minister there, Iman, do forgive our shaky visuals, had to try and get a bite there. Of course, you would have heard that he's not really trying to be drawn on, um, you know, the issues of step aside and why he is a, being sworn in as an MP despite resigning, despite actually, um, you know, uh, basically leaving before being pushed by the step aside rule. So... Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, here's the thing that I find it very interesting and very uh, weird, right? At the same time, it's just weird to see this. Um, <laughs> why is why is Ramaphosa making decisions that are not consistent? Why is Ramaphosa doing things? And not listening to the majority of the ANC people. Gandhi, who elected Ramaphosa? Okay, here's a, here's a perfect example. How many people in the ANC, general masses of the ANC, how many of those are happy with the ANC? I'm asking you. Are happy with the ANC going in bed with the DA? How many of those? Now, if you think Ramaphosa is ruling free and fair and he's applying democratic processes and he's not ruling like with a rod of iron the question is why aren't, can't he listen to the majority of people when they say we don't want the relationship between DA and ANC please choose other people why is he insisting it tells us about tells us something about Ramaphosa himself it tells us that it you are good as long as you are going to put him in a position. But once you are done, he will show you a meekly finger, broad daylight, and you're not going to do anything about it. It's kind of like he's asking you that, okay, so I'm going to deal, I'm going to do what I do. So what are you going to do when about it? How many of you guys who are ANC people really love the, the A and ANC marriage? Because you can't lie. We proved it to you. Prior to this being called the uh, GNU, we proved it to you that this is not a, GN, a, look, a, a GNU, it's a coalition. Remember, we brought evidence that said if people reject the coalition between DA and ANC, change the name of that same the coalition, call it something else, whilst we continue in principle to maintain the same thing. Didn't we do that? We did it. Didn't it happen? It happened in front of your eyes. First, it was the coalition between DA and ANC. There was strong resistance and then it changed and it became a national government of, of unity. But then the DA continued to show its ugly colors and controlling everything. Why is Ramaphosa pushing by fire by force? Is So I'm saying to you, the things that you are seeing Uzi Zigoto doing, 
whatever behavior that you are being you are seeing there look exhibited by Uzi Zigotwa, you must understand that whatever is happening there, it really has nothing to do with Uzi Zigotwa. It has everything to do with Ramaphosa himself. That it is setting pre a president in it in that it is saying that. When I shall be found guilty over these things, I will then say, but, right? He's now planning his future. If you think I'm joking, that is why he signed a contract. I mean, he signs this thing with the DA that says, you are not going to uh, f support the motion of no confidence against me. You are not going to participate in the Palapala thing. If Ramaphosa is clean, why would you... You know what I'm saying? And for the fact that they signed a coalition and that agreement with DA, it must worry you when the same guy talks about corruption, talks about how he cleans corruption. You must then see it for what it is that the, the cleaning of corruption is basically a, a, a removing of people that are not supporting Ramaphosa. Then they get chased out through the means of the state, which now it, equa it equates to the abuse of the state organ.